but let's look at the top stories that are there in the wo- uh, global world and what is happening over there in terms of top headlines uh after starting the year with a neutral rating across assets, Goldman Sachs has shifted its stance on a global equities to overweight. Bank uh, said that the core asset performance has had a more prosyclic feel in the recent weeks and this is due to stronger than expected US data as well as signs of impending global manufacturing recovery. Now what uh, Goldman Sachs also highlighted and added that the monetary policy easing cycles has actually historically been quite supportive for risky assets. However, in terms of potential for global earnings growth, that remains quite relatively muted due to the falling revenue growth as well as a minimal room for margin improvement. Now although the note also says that the global economic growth creates upside risk to earnings growth as well. But that's the word that's come in from Goldman Sachs. Yeah, and after that bullish stance on global equities, Goldman Sachs has raised its year-end target for benchmark S&P 500 to 5,200, which is a 4% upside from its current level. Now, the call reflects an optimistic earnings outlook for the index companies. The bank also believes that strong world GDP and mild weakness in the dollar should support EPS while lower rates and oil prices will be mild drags. Let's get in some update on uh, Germany and what's happening there as well. A week after UK and Japan and entering into a recession, uh, Central Bank has warned Germany to be the next candidate as well. Uh, the bank uh, cites consumer caution amidst sluggish external environment and demand environment. Not just that, the Central Bank also points towards the lofty borrowing cost weighing on the country's domestic investments as well. And Chinese tech giant Alibaba Group is betting big on overseas e-commerce businesses amid sluggish domestic growth. This after Q3 earnings, silver lining came through their international e-commerce unit, notching a top-line growth of 44% on a year-on-year basis.